nice to meet you. Um, I know you were supposed to be back in Toronto two years ago, but got cancelled because of COVID. How does it feel to be back in Toronto? Well, if anything, I'm more grateful than ever to be back. You know, I think that's one thing that the pandemic showed us that we have to be more to be more grateful for uh, an opportunity like this beautiful festival, great weather, amazing people, so many great artists, and I'm just super excited and proud that I can be a small part of it. I know you've played Veld before. What is it that you like about Veld? What makes you come back? Uh, I've always had a special bond with um, people in Canada, especially Toronto. You know, I've been coming here for many years, uh, playing the government back in the old days, uh, the Cool House, uh, played many festivals here. And uh, yeah, it's just for some reason, Canada has always been very, very good for me. Do you like Toronto specifically or is there a city that you really like in Canada? Um, well, um, I love coming here. I, I remember my, my sets um, back in the day when I was playing um, the government. I played seven hours, you know, nonstop. And uh, the crowd is just really educated here and, and they really love a, a good trancy set, so that helps. <laughs> Obviously, Toronto has a massive food scene. Are there any restaurants that you like going to when you come here? Um, I, I particularly love the whole sushi thing here. I don't know why, but it seems that there's a lot of really good sushi here. Any specific places you go to? Um, there was this Italian place that we always went to. I forgot the name, but before every show that I did, um, we always went to this Italian place. I forgot the name, but it's such a beautiful place. It must be really popular. I'm sure that people uh, hear me talk, they must know it, but it's super famous. What can we expect from your performance tonight? I know that you were just in Tomorrowland. You performed in Tomorrowland. Are we going to get some Tomorrowland vibes here, or what can we expect? Um, you're going to get some Tomorrowland vibes, but obviously some new stuff as well. Um, I mean, it's been a crazy, crazy summer for me in Europe. Good to be back, and the energy has been crazy because people have to be waiting for two years, you know? Uh, so all the energy came out, and it just felt like it was double the energy than normal, you know? It was crazy. There's so many Canadian artists topping the charts right now. Do you have any Canadian Canadian artists on your playlist? Oh yeah, um, I'm working with Simon Ward. Uh, the track that we did is called Love We Lost and did incredibly well in Canada as well. I read that you have some collaborations coming up. Do you want to speak about that? Um, yeah, I've got a big single coming up with um, Gareth Emery and Al City. You know, Al City from Fireflies had a massive hit. I worked with Adam before um, on a track called Utopia, but I'm specifically proud of this one. I may drop it tonight, depending on the time, uh, how much time I have, but uh, yeah, I am super excited for that one. Some, some partnerships, music partnerships? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you so much for your time, and I'm so much looking forward to watching your set. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Enjoy. Thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe to our Narcity channel to see more great content.